we get the news of a poker game going down in the middle of Alabama. Naturally, they send the jet to pick me up from Dallas, and we stop in Oxford to get our friends from Old Miss. On the way, I check off something that's been on my bucket list for a while, playing poker on a private jet. And even though I lose to Kendrick, the night is just beginning. We've landed in Muscle Shoals. The hangar doubles as the venue for tonight's game, Justin parks the jet inside, and then we're off to Jar & Co for a chic new outfit for tonight's game. They spoil me with a fresh fit and we're ready to gamble. Back at the hangar, there's 20 locals ready to take our money. Are they all cousins? Who knows? Charlie even brought all his buddies who watched the vlog. Let's see how this goes down. First hand, ace jack offsuit from the cutoff. Lucas, my editor, raises the hijack to 15. I put in the call and a few others do as well. Leading us off to a flop multi-way which comes king, queen, eight with two diamonds. Having the ace of diamonds in my hand is nice, so I check behind, bringing in the jack of diamonds on the turn, giving me a pair and a draw to a royal flush. Not often do you have that. Kendrick bets out for $30. And uh, I make it $90 to go. I want him to fold all of his one pair type of hands. Maybe I could size up even a little bit larger, but he puts in the call. Looking for that magical card on the river in the four of hearts is a big disappointment. Not what we wanted to see. Kendrick checks it over to myself. Are we checking behind with our showdown value? Sure, we have a pair. But at this point, I'm putting Kedrick on a weak king, a strong queen at best. I don't think he has 9-10 because he probably would have re-raised that on the turn, given the fact there are three diamonds out there. So I'm going to go for a bluff here, turn my ace jack into a bluff, having the ace of diamonds as a great blocker, blocking all of the nut flushes. I make it $200 to go, and Kendrick's in the tank. He doesn't love this spot, which is exactly what I wanted this bet to accomplish. But eventually he puts in the call, turning over king nine offsuit. So exactly like I thought, a weak top pair. And he's taking down that $655 pot, and I got outplayed in that hand. That guy. Oh, that guy. Don't invite him to your games. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, <man. laughs> I top up an additional $300, and I make it $15 to go with the beautiful 8-7 of spades. A bunch of people put in the call. We flop ourselves 7-3 deuce with two spades. I fire out for a quarter, everyone folds, easy game. This next hand's a fun one, my editor straddles it to $10. I make it $30 to go with Ethan's favorite hand, pocket fours. Lucas comes in for a three bet to $90, and because we're both fairly deep and I'll have position on him the rest of the way, I decide to put in the additional 60 bucks. Off to a flop we go, which comes a six four bang, we flop bottom set. Great board for me to flop bottom set on because he's going to have a lot of the strong aces in his three betting range. He decides to go for a C bet and all I'm thinking about right now is Vegas and the Mirage. Should I ever raise on this drive a board? I don't think so. I put in the smooth call. I folded the one bet I'd be a fish. <laughs> <laughs> and off to the turn we go which comes the three of hearts. Really shouldn't change anything unless he has five seven suited exactly. So when he rips it all in for $250 it looks like he'll be working for free this month. I put in the snap call. $807 pot probably getting shipped over my way. But look at that, he has outs, king deuce offsuit. He has a gutter to a five. Let's see if the dealer rewards him. The queen of clubs is not what he wanted to see. $800 getting shipped over my way. And you know what? Not even my editor is safe from a bang sticker. Where's my five? No, totally. Little old Lukey. <laughs> How much? And that's why you play pocket fours for $90. Uh, on the wall? Uh, on the new oh, shirt? Man, man. No. Man. <laughs> If he doesn't flop a set, I'm good. That bluff's getting through every time. I, the shirt I love money. Ace queen of hearts now from the big blind. Zeke in the cutoff raises it up to $20 over four limpers. I decide to three bet him to a small sizing of $55 and Mark, Peyton, and Zeke put in the call. We're off to the flop four ways, which comes queen nine deuce with two spades. The flop is pretty great. There's a lot of straight and flush draws to get value from. So I decide to make it $75 to go. Mark puts in the call and now Peyton makes it $125, but that's not a legal raise and the dealer tells him that, so he decides now to jam it for 171. It's a friendly home game, we're gonna let that stand, and uh, I put in the call. Mark's out of the way, we're going off to a runout, and Peyton turns over ace-queen offsuit, so he's free rolling me here in the $600 pot with the ace of spades. The king of diamonds on the turn means we're chopping this pot up, and uh, the only casualty here is Mark's money. We're gladly going to take half of it. Hold on. <laughs> no, they, don't matter. <laughs> they don't even matter. They don't matter. You know, you know yeah, what, you know what happened there? We just chopped Mark's money. 
dude. And I had, <laughs> the, I had the winner. Oh, you had the winner. <laughs> And number five brings us ace jack of diamonds from the low jack. Lucas makes it 15 and I three bet him to 50. Mark puts in the call for 50 and Charlie now comes in for the four bet to $100. Action's back over to me. Four bets are really strong, especially for a min raise sizing, but I'm going nowhere with ace jack suited. I got two cards to a royal, put in the call and Mark does as well. When the flop comes king, queen, nine with one diamond, we flop ourselves a gutter to Broadway in a backdoor diamond draw. Charlie bits out for $100 and only I put in the call. The turn comes a brick, it's the deuce of spades. An imposition on Charlie here is pretty valuable when he checks it over to myself. Now when he four bets preflop and bets the flop, sure, he could have king, queen, pocket kings, pocket queens. However, now with two clubs on board when he checks the turn, I'm eliminating all of those hands from his range. I think a lot of those would want to go for protection here, given the fact there's just so much going on on this board. Still, I don't have very much. If he checks the river, I'm definitely gonna go for a bluff, but on this turn, I decide to check behind and see what the river brings in. The river is super wet. It's the eight of clubs bringing in the front door. Club draw also bringing in jack 10 for the open-ended straight. Both of those hands I would play exactly like I did, call the flop, check the turn, and now bet big on the river. So sure enough, when Charlie checks it over to me for a second time, there's 522 in the middle, and I'm gonna go for a $300 sizing, trying to get him to fold a one pair type of hand. He goes into the tank for a while. He obviously does not love this river, and my sizing is pretty good. However, he was slow playing a monster, pocket queens, and puts in the call. Didn't expect him to have that hand when he checks the turn, but he's getting rewarded with that $1,100 pot. So I guess Charlie knows something that I don't. All right, let's make a little bit of that back here. I have ace, queen of hearts and make it $20 to go over a bunch of limps. Three players put in the call, which means we are going four ways to the flop, which comes five, five, three with one heart. I make it $40 and Mark puts in the call, bringing us off to the turn, which comes the 10 of spades. Gonna continue betting here and representing all of my over pairs. The 10 of spades seems to be a decent card to do so on, and I fire out for $75 and that gets the job done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Boom. What's the last card? What's the last, last card? card? We'll see, but we'll see the last card. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that's not the one. <laughs> six what? Six, seven. I don't mm. believe you. You can't even find your cards. Yeah, use the whole deck. <laughs> there There's more cards over there. Yeah, if you there need has them. to be a seven in here. Right. <laughs> Apparently, it's the knight of ace queen on the vlog. Let's pick it up here in the offsuit variety. I'm under the gun and I make it $20 to go. Lucas in the big blind puts in the call, leading us off to a very good flop, which comes queen six deuce. Super dry, I go for a $15 C bet and he snap calls. Off to the turn we go, which comes the seven of hearts and a little bit of the same here. I bet 40 and Lucas calls once again. That brings us off to the river, which comes the nine of spades. I guess that brings in hands like five, eight and eight, 10. I don't really know how he'd arrive on the river with any of those holdings. So when he checks it to me once again, I bet small here, trying to get value from one pair, maybe a worse queen, maybe a seven X, six X, maybe pocket eights. I make it $30 to go and Lucas does not think about it for too long before jamming all in for $398. He shows his cards across the table to Kendrick. I don't really know what to make of that, but I have top pair with a pretty good kicker, and I ultimately decide to put in the call. If he has a better hand, he's gonna get paid off here, but he doesn't. Pocket tens tried to get me to fold. Was that a value bet? Was that a bluff? I'm gonna call him right now and figure that one out, but uh, I'm not complaining in the slightest. Taking down a nice sized pot, and Lucas is gonna get bang sticker number two on the night. I'm the best. Why does he have ace queen every time? I'm the best there ever was. Why does he always have a queen? All right, a cool $1,000 in our stack. I look down at king jack offsuit from the button. I make it $20 to go over a few limps and three players put in the call. Flop comes ace king seven with two diamonds. Pretty great board for me, but Mark doesn't let me bet. He fires out for $10 and two players put in the call. I call as well off the turn we go, which gives me two pair on the jack of clubs. And Mark fires out now for $25 and two players put in the call once again. And uh, I'm going to make this a little bit more. $85 seems like the right price. A lot of draws out there. The front door diamonds, back door clubs. I have one of each of those in my hand, but two pair is pretty strong. 
and probably the best hand at the moment, $85 is the price I'm laying. Mark puts in the call and the player on my right does as well. We're off to the river which brings in the front door diamond draw on the deuce of diamonds. The action checks to me and a lot of stuff gets there now on the deuce of diamonds river. So I check behind and it looks like Mark had me smoke the entire way with ace king offsuit and he's taken down this $400 pot. The right hand number nueve, it's the exact same cards, king jack offsuit once again. I'm in the big blind, three limpers and I make it $20 and all three limpers put in the call. So a little bit of the same thing going on here. A lot of limpers, I raise it up and they all call. Off to a flop we go which gives me top pair, king seven six rainbow and the action checks around. The turn comes the six of spades and now I fire out for $40. And Mark in the under the gun position puts in the call. Does he have a straight draw with 8, 9, or 5, 4? Does he have a worse king or just a one pair type of hand like pocket 8s or a 7 suited? We're going to find out here in the river card now comes the jack of spades giving me two pair. I mean technically I already had two pair on the turn. It's just a better one now. So all of his king 10 and king queens and ace kings now feel a little bit better about themselves. I'm going to fire out for $40 and see if we can milk out a little bit more value from our buddy Mark. Sure enough, that's what happens. He puts in the call. I turn over the two pair and uh, $240 coming over my way. What is going on right here? How do I win this hand with this distraction going on here? <laughs> We're going to finish off the night with my favorite hand, pocket sevens from the cutoff. I make it $20 to go and we're going to get three callers. Off the flop we go, which comes queen, seven, deuce, bang, we flop middle set. I throw out for $40 and everyone seems to have a hunch that I'm really strong here because they all fold their cards. The river was the queen of diamonds, so if anyone had a queen in their hand, we would have won a large pot. That's going to do it for this insane session, being picked up on a jet, flown out to Alabama, won a little bit of money. Let's bring it to the outro. All right, wrapping up this sick 2-5 video from Muscle Shoals. Got picked up in Dallas and flown all the way out to Alabama by Justin. Huge shout out to you for that. Uh, Kendrick was the one who set it up and Jar and Company was the uh, store in Muscle Shoals that got me looking right with the fresh new fit. So uh, thank you to you guys as well. As for how we did in the video, really was just going for the experience, but I made $44 in around seven hours of play. Yes, we played super long into the night, had a few drinks and made $44. So uh, all around a great time. As for what's next in the vlog, we are running this video back next year. So if you guys wanna see more of this private game, hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys as always in the next one. Peace.